Hey guys, how's it going? BCHD here and today I'm bringing you the second career mode series for the channel. It is going to be the Juventus Ooh. career mode, the Bianconeri, um, the most successful team in Italy, five successive, um, consecutive uh, Serie A titles. And for this career mode, we're gonna, we're gonna try, we're gonna break the record, break Torino's record, and I'm pretty sure another team has done it as well. Um, we're gonna go for six consecutive Serie A titles to their name, complete dominance of Italy. Um, we're also gonna try to go for the Champions League as well, as the board stressed that out in my uh, expectations. Uh, we need to win the Champions League in order to um, satisfy, the, satisfy the board's wants. Um, as the new total club management, um, with the domestic success, continental success, brand exposure, it's all critical as a part of my job managing um, such a big team like Juventus. I mean, such pressure is on me. Uh, we gotta, we gotta win the treble. Or I think I'm, I'm pretty. Much, I'm not sure if you don't complete the critical ones, you do have a high chance of getting fired. Um, as the new, as a new coach, um, and the youth development, we only got a medium. But I'm trying to develop some uh, youth kids into the starting eleven in the next few years. We just, we don't. I don't feel like buying everyone. We'll just develop some new kids, some new Italian players. Um, and we're gonna try to do it through um, training. I'm gonna um, probably train all the younger kids like uh, Lamina, um, Rugani, all the all the young Italians. Some say the next Pogba, Lamina, but he's not French. He's is um, African, but um, here we go. We got Piaka as well, the the new winger for Juventus. They signed this summer. We got Lamina. Um, they're not. These players aren't going to be good enough for the starting eleven. But probably in the next few seasons, we're going to try put them in the starting eleven. As you see, I changed the formation to a four-one-two-one-two. Um, probably one of my preferred formations. Just suits suits us because we have a lot of midfield players. And here we got the transfer action going on. Danny Carvajal. Um, trying to get, lure him away from Real Madrid, we got um, Marco Verratti, a prime, a prime signing. We're gonna try um, implement straight into the starting team. As we try, we're trying to swap him for someone, but it's just not, it's not gonna work. We're probably gonna have to pay full price for him. As we go into our first American Challenge Cup game against Philadelphia Union, we get a big 4-0 W here. Alves scoring his first goal, Pjanic scoring his first goal. And Danny Carvajal, he's he's on the way. I, I feel like he's on the way. He's, his contract's already been been offered. They've accepted um, already. Uh, we're simming this game against Liverpool. Um, we do get a cheeky draw. Uh, Pjanic scores his second in two games. Yes, it's only preseason, but early signs for us as um, we got um, all the scout report on the lads um, trying to negotiate Carvajal's um, contract. And yeah, we're continuing on. And we're, um, we finally signed um, Danny Carvajal. Um, and we're also negotiating Marco Verratti's contract as he's going to be our big money signing this year, boys. Um, he's going he's gonna to break the bank, I think. Marco Verratti is going to be probably our most expensive signing. As we go into this game against Atletico Madrid, we get absolutely, we absolutely dominate Atletico Madrid with a 5-0 victory. Showing early signs of um, dominance here in the preseason tournament as we do go through some more training and we do sign Marco Verratti, our big money signing. Hopefully, goes slots straight into the starting 11. Just love signings like that, they just come straight into it. As we go against this in this game against Dortmund, we're winning 2 0, we're straight into the final against Bayern Munich. And I feel like we need a center attacking midfielder, someone that's gonna dictate the play, go up with the strikers, get probably our record breaking assists and we're also trying to um, get away with um, Asamo, Jean and Hernanez as we do win that 4-3 uh, on penalties, very lucky indeed in the end. We do get some more extra funds in the transfer kitty um, and we do get some offers for our centre backs such as Bonucci and uh, Rugani uh, and we make an offer for Ozyakum, the Turkish centre midfielder. It's going to probably be a rotational play, just a backup player. We do need some, quite some strong depth, but we are going to sell Azamoa and Hernanez. as just don't feel them anymore. I mean, um, I'm signing two new midfield players. Going to have to go. Um, not good enough for the team, in my opinion. They're too old and not 
with um, statistically good enough as we do sign Julian Draxler, the the young, he, uh, used to be a wonder kid, but he's still he's still sort of a wonder kid. He's just developed more, and we do sign Ozjakomp, the leader of men, according to his personality traits. As we do go in and do some more training, and our next big transfer, Romelu Lukaku from Everton. We're gonna try swap him with um, Manzukic. And we're going to try Lua uh, Lukaku away from the Premier League to Juventus to help us win the treble for this year as we're offering Champions League football. Um, we're probably going to uh, end the episode off at the Supercoppa against AC Milan as we do finish off some transfer dealings here as we go into another training session. Um, all the players go in there, the young boys. Also negotiating Romelu Lukaku's big, big uh, contract. Um, nearly 200k we have to pay him a week. But we're going to sign him, probably sign him next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, more episodes coming soon of Man United and Juventus. I hope you guys enjoyed. Follow me on Twitter, like the video, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.